very good afternoon. You're watching the headlines with me, I'm Dipavli Hazra. Breaking off his 18 year long relationship with the Congress, Jyotiraditya Sindhya joins the BJP today. Sindhya may likely be rewarded with a Rajya Sabha nomination and a spot on the Central Cabinet. Along with Sindhya, 22 MLAs have also tendered their resignations from the Congress party, taking the majority of the Madhya Pradesh Assembly down to 104. The BJP has 107 MLAs and Congress now has 92, so the Kamal Nath government is definitely in trouble. Senior Madhya Pradesh Congress leader Sajjan Singh Varma met with 19 party MLAs who tendered their resignations. He said nobody is ready to go with Sindhya. He claimed the MLAs said they were misled and taken to Bengaluru. Meanwhile, resort politics is once again at its peak with MP BJP MLAs who are now staying at ITC Grand Bharat in Gurugram and 19 rebel Congress MLAs are in Bengaluru. The Congress MLAs from Madhya Pradesh have been flown to Jaipur. Taking a shot at the political turmoil in Madhya Pradesh, Shiv Sena leader Sanjay Raut said that the MP virus won't enter Maharashtra. Raut said one operation by the BJP to destabilize the government had flopped 100 days ago. The Maharashtra Vikas Aghari did a bypass surgery and saved Maharashtra, he said. Rahul Gandhi refused to react to Jyotiraditya Sindhya's resignation from the Congress. He, however, took to Twitter to take a swipe at the Prime Minister for destabilizing an elected government. He accused the Prime Minister of political games while fuel prices remained high despite a global oil market crash. He urged the Prime Minister to slash oil prices to give some boost to the slump in economy. The suspension of seven Congress Lok Sabha MPs has been revoked by Speaker Om Birla. They had been suspended on charges of cross misconduct in the House. Lok Sabha has seen disruptions with the Congress protesting against the suspension of the seven MPs. External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar today informed the Parliament that 10 new cases of COVID-19 were confirmed. Eight cases are from Kerala and one each from Rajasthan and Delhi. The total cases have risen to 60 across the country. The Government of India, meanwhile, has issued an advisory for all incoming international passengers with travel history to China, Hong Kong, South Korea, Japan, Italy, Iran, Malaysia, France, as well as Germany to undergo self-imposed quarantine for 14 days from the date of their arrival. Kerala Health Minister K.K. Shailaja said it's criminal not to declare travel history and that proper action will be taken against such people amid the coronavirus outbreak. She cautioned that hiding travel history aids the spread of the highly contagious infection. She urged people to reveal their identities and contact the health department. A Pakistan Air Force F-16 fighter jet crashed in the capital city of Islamabad on Wednesday morning while taking part in rehearsals for a Pakistan Day air show and parade set to take place on March the 23rd. Wing Commander Norman Akram has lost his life in the crash. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more.